Welcome, in front of me is a Nokia G60 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So to get started, let's select our desired language from the drop down menu. And I'll be choosing English, so there we go. Now region, and we can now go to the next page. This will allow me to connect to network. Now this isn't a requirement. I can set up the device offline if I wanted to, which I will. And uh, as you've seen, there was a pop-up by skipping this. I also uh, won't be able to connect to Google account throughout the setup process and won't be able to restore the device from a cloud backup, as well as having date and time not be set automatically. So there we go. Now on the next page we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. So these are all enabled by default and if you don't want them, which is understandable, you can simply turn them off. One in particular, send user and diagnostic data is just a little bit too creepy so I'm going to turn it off. Moving on to the next page, the phone allows me to set up some kind of screen lock so I can protect the device and also it prompts me to set up a fingerprint so this is more like set up a fingerprint but because for a fingerprint you also need a screen lock it will first prompt you to do that instead i'll be skipping it anyway so there we go also have a face unlock and there's the pin anyway now when it comes down to pin and automatically or screen lock more precisely it automatically opts into a four digit pin but it can select right here screen lock options and have a choice between pattern and password as well and obviously you can skip it as well. Continue setup. So let's see, let's continue. What do we get? HMD services, so get protect news and offers. Yeah, uh, already word offers kind of turns me off. So I'm just gonna, I'll accept selected, which is none. There we go, perfect option my device app, uh, yeah, skip. You can read what these exactly do and if you want to opt into them. But as you can see afterwards, the process is finished and that's, that's about it. You can use your phone now. Anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.